Hello, my name is Paul Fonsart and I'm the National Practice Group Leader for our Forensic and Technology Services team here at Clayton Utes. It is my absolute pleasure to bring to you a series of the fun fundamentals of financial crime that will give you tips to watch out for and traps to avoid when considering financial crime. Now financial crime um, is, continues to evolve and is certainly a complex area to consider. But most of the times we, we kind of miss the basics. And the basics of, of financial crime are really about what's the need that humans have. Humans can be greedy um, and humans are fallible. So what we do tend to look at through in the series is to try and give you and arm you with some information that considers these risks that uh, as a forensic person we look at. As a forensic person, we consider three elements when looking at financial crime. And the first element is about pressure and, and, and uh, incentive that's given to the individual to commit those crimes. The second e element is, is around um, rationalisation. So why does the person actually do what they do? The third element is about opportunity. What opportunities in the systems and processes are people looking for to, to actually um, uh, circumvent. Now, if you're not a forensic person, uh, you wouldn't know where to start looking, you wouldn't know where to start detecting those elements within your organisation. So this series that we pull together has six components and six areas that we look at. So such as conflicts of interest, such as accounts payable um, and payroll. Now, we'll share with you throughout the series um, our war stories, what we've seen in the past few, uh, number of years. We'll also share with you some red flags to watch out for. But more importantly, we'll give you those tips to consider and how you can detect these areas before they occur in your business. So throughout the series, you should be able to pick up those tips and apply them in your business to, to stop or mitigate the risks of those financial crimes occurring before they happen. The other component and last component of it is to help you build a culture within your organisation to stop this from occurring and not foster it. So please enjoy the series and I look forward to talking to you in the future. Thank you.